main driver of Korea's economy is exports. Shipments uh, heading out of the country account for more than half of Korea's gross domestic product, but sluggish global demand means, at least for export heavy companies, their best years are behind them. Our Hwang Ji Hae explains why other industries are upstaging these traditional powerhouses. Almost half of Korea's 100 biggest listed companies by market cap changed in the past 10 years. And a big chunk of companies focusing on domestic demand, not exports, added their names to the list. Market Tracker CEO Score says among 41 new firms that entered the top 100, 15 were in the retail, food and beverage and service sectors like Kakao Corp, the operator of Korea's most widely used messenger application, Kakao Talk. Firms that failed to stay in the list came mainly from the construction, shipbuilding and petrochemical industries, which have been losing steam in recent years. Heavy industries that benefited from the former president Im myung baks currency policy experienced a drastic downhill slide after 2012 and dropped out of the top 100 list. Experts add that sluggish global demand coupled with the rising competitive edge of Chinese products against domestic ones were also factored into the trend while service sectors were not really bothered from such uncertainties. Service sectors are also benefiting from easing regulations by the government that aim to foster the industry as the next growth engine. The market cap of those companies is reflecting their potential. He went on to say that the trend is expected to continue for the time being as exports are widely forecast to remain sluggish next year. Hwang Jie, Arirang News.